Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Transgender woman does unthinkable to 10-year-old girl in Wyoming women's restroom. This is breaking across the news desk and it's very sad. A transgender woman was just found guilty of sexually assaulting a 10-year-old girl in a bathroom. She will face 70 years in jail. Her name is Michelle Martinez, previously known as Miguel. She was just convicted on first and second degree sexual abuse on Wednesday. According to police, Martinez touched the girl on genitalia and then raped her. Martinez was a friend of the girl's family. The girl went to the police and cried and said it hurt inside. According to the Casper Star Tribune, the girl told the Children's Advocacy Project that her assaulter should be jailed. Advertisement Martinez denies the charges and says that girl was talking crap earlier in the day. She then accused the girl of lying and said the whole thing was a publicity stunt, according to Daily Mail. This is absolutely horrifying. Share this if you are praying for the recovery of this little girl in Wyoming. Trump needs every American to do this one simple thing to end anthem kneeling forever. Donald Trump is sick and tired of NFL athletes disrespecting our flag, and now he's doing something about it. Trump has just started a petition demanding that everyone in the NFL stands during our national anthem. It's being hosted by the Republican Party and can be accessed on their website. The president has asked for a list of supporters who stand for the national anthem. Add your name below to show your patriotism and support, the petition reads. The petition is paid for by the Trump Make America Great Again Committee, a joint fundraising committee authorized by and composed of Donald J. Trump for President Inc. and the Republican National Committee. This call to action comes after Trump famously quipped that NFL team owners should say get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. When players fail to stand for the anthem. Pledge your support in the comments and share if you want to help our president end anthem kneeling for good. Our country deserves more. Trump just dropped a giant truth bomb on Frederica Wilson and Democrats are freaking out. U.S. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson made headlines this week when she began a war of words with President Trump, claiming that he made an insensitive phone call to a soldier's widow after the man was killed in action in Niger. The White House and President Trump denied the claims, with White House Chief of Staff John Kelly giving an emotional speech denouncing Wilson, saying he was stunned that she had listened into the conversation. Wilson then called Kelly racist and said that the White House was full of white supremacists. President Trump issued another smackdown Saturday morning, telling the world the cold hard truth about Wilson, she is the reason the Democrats cannot win. Looks like Wilson also earned herself a famous Trump nickname, Wacky Wilson. Given her famous hat choices, it seems fitting. Wilson's divisiveness and her immediately making President Trump's defensiveness about race is typical of Democrats. Many Democrats choose to pick apart small details, or even made up stories, about the president instead of focusing on actually governing the country. Oh well, luckily President Trump has social media to bring his messages directly to the people, and call out those who only ever criticize. Love Trump? Share it out, patriots. H.T. Washington Examiner Right as Mike Pence's son gets married, Democrat does something totally unhinged. Democrats are so negative they try to ruin everything and make it about them. Vice President Mike Pence's son Marine Corps Second Lieutenant Michael Pence planned a marriage ceremony to Sarah Whiteside on Saturday and one Democrat activist and local school board member could not handle it. 
Sue Wozner took to Facebook on Wednesday to complain about the ceremony, which was to take place in a local Indiana park, saying it would disrupt regular park operations. The bizarre, mean-spirited post had no basis in reality. The ceremony was to be extremely small and private, and the park's property manager stated, the fact that the vice president will be here will not impact our regular visitors. Michael Pence and Sarah Whiteside were married in December of last year during a legal ceremony, which would accommodate the Marines' travel schedule. The event Saturday will be a ceremonial celebration of their nuptials. Advertisement Mike Pence's daughter, Charlotte Pence, posted a picture of the happy couple during their legal ceremony last year. Sarah Windsor has still not deleted her original Facebook post. The Democrats can be mean-spirited all they want, but we are going to stay positive, share this story, and wish the happy couple a wonderful ceremony and a long, loving, marriage. H.T. Washington Examiner Steve Bannon accurately predicts Nancy Pelosi's chances to impeach President Trump. Nancy Pelosi is a disgrace. To the state of California to the federal government she has played the politics of the do as I say not as I do better than anyone. Look, the Democrats aren't the only ones who do this, but they are the worst offenders. With 24-7 news it is hard to remember a story from yesterday let alone a few weeks or years ago. But we must jog Pelosi's memory this morning. When the Roger Isles, Bill O'Reilly sex scandal broke Pelosi and the rest of the Democrats and Hollywood jumped on their high horses. They acted all holier than thou which is their stock in trade and the reason why everyone hates them. Because we are all human and we know no one is perfect so why try to act like it? The Weinstein happened and they were exposed as the worst kind of hypocrites and we hated them even more. Something Trump understood, in today's online world where everything seems virtual or fake and where major banks steal their customers' identity and scam them out of their money, Wells Fargo, Trump knew America just wanted the goddamn truth for a change. We did and we still do. And speaking last night before the California Republican Party, Steve Bannon dropped a lot of truth bombs. There has not been a more destructive presidency than George Bush's. CNN recorded Bannon starting off with before ripping Bush's speech that took shots at Trump two days ago. It was clear he didn't understand anything he was talking about. He has no earthly idea of whether he's coming or going. Just like it was when he was President of the United States, before adding. He embarrassed himself. Bannon went on to defend Trump's vision of an America first policy, saying the critics had it all wrong. It's not about your race, your color your gender, your religion, your ethnicity, your sexual preference. It's about one thing, are you a citizen of the United States of America? Because if you're a citizen, there are certain responsibilities and obligations that come with that, but as a citizen also you should have preference for jobs and economic opportunities. Capitalism cures all ills but we need to protect it at all costs. And to defend it we need to do something about the greed at the top. Who prefer monopolies to competition because they pay better? When was the last time you called your cable company? If it has been a while, the next time you have to call you will understand what I am talking about. It is pure hell and no one speaks English and because the cable industry owns DC we have no options. The permanent political class that runs this country is one of the great dangers that we face in this country, Bannon continued before giving a recipe for success. If you have the wisdom, the strength, the tenacity to hold that coalition, that Trump won with, together, we will govern for 50 to 75 years. Then he got serious. Look mid-term elections are always a bloodbath for the sitting president. Always. Bannon knows this and he knows if Pelosi flips less than 30 seats she will be Speaker of the House and she will immediately call for Trump's impeachment. If you doubt she would do this you are not paying attention. Even if the Senate won't vote to impeach it is a major distraction so it is imperative the GOP keep the House. And that is when Bannon made his accurate prediction of Pelosi's chances to impeach Trump. He said the Democrats are blowing their golden opportunity by going too far to the left. The good fools are going to drag, the party, 
so far to the left that we are going to hold those districts. And Nancy Pelosi is not going to get the chance to impeach the President of the United States. Correct. You have zero chance to impeach him Pelosi, get used to it for the next eight years. Busted shocking video just surfaced that will make Frederica Wilson drop to her knees and apologize to Trump. Someone needs to tell Congresswoman Wilson that if she plans to attack someone over something they said, make sure that you aren't on video saying the exact same thing. Last week, Frederica Wilson hit a new low for Democrats and criticized President Trump over a condolence call made to the widow of a fallen soldier. When President Trump called the widow of Sergeant Law David T. Johnson to tell her he was sorry for her loss, Congresswoman Wilson was eagerly listening in. Afterwards, Wilson made one of the most disgusting political decisions in history and reported her account of the phone call to CNN. Wilson claimed President Trump basically told Mrs. Johnson that her husband knew what he was getting into. Wilson went on to say, for the president to say that this young man signed up for his own death is so insensitive. I guess Frederica Wilson forgot that she said the exact same thing when she spoke about the death of two FBI agents. This just proves that Frederica Wilson is a hypocrite and a fraud. It looks like someone owes our president a huge apology. Watch the video below.